Well, hey guys, how are you doing today? Um, excuse the mess, I just got out of the shower and had time to do my hair. But the Lord came over me today and he, I heard January 4th. So he told me to repost the January 4th message and then um, I heard January 11th. And so I started reading, I get so excited like a kid, but I started reading January 4th message and I didn't realize, but there's two messages and I got so excited, so I'm just gonna read you a little bit of what it says, and then I'll read you January 11th. And I'm not going, and you can go back and look at the videos. Um, I think he wants me to repost them as well, so uh, I'll probably do that next. Um, but the Lord explained to me, so when this all first started, uh, December 30th, 2022, it was all new for me, and I didn't know what was going on, or, you know, it was very scary at times, because it was just like, Oh my goodness, the Lord is coming over me so strong and this has never happened to me before. So anyway, my journey has been amazing and the believers out there have been so supportive and amazing. And of course, you know, you run into your Pharisees and all that stuff. So I'm just hoping and praying that these messages are going to wake people up and I'm doing it all for Jesus because um, I love him. And again, someone commented about that he come in the flesh. So apparently I didn't say Jesus Christ. So I'm going to say Jesus Christ come in the flesh, bled on earth. Oh, so let me say he come. Jesus Christ, he come in the flesh. He bled on the cross. He rose on the third day. He was born of a virgin. Okay. I hope you guys are happy with that now because every time I say it, there's like different versions and stuff. And I never feel convicted by Jesus. He's so loving, um, you know, and everything. So I really hope those people that are out there, you know, condemning those things really get to know the real Jesus because he is so awesome and he's not what people think he is. Um, he literally, you are covered by him and his grace. Anyway, okay, so the Lord showed me that when the prophecy started December 30th, he was doing the ending which is so cool, you know? So like he said in January 4th message, this is my last warning. And he came over me strong today and he said, my child repost January 4th. So I'm gonna do that and um, January 11th. Last warning before you hear the trumpets. So everything is kind of going in order. And you know, that's how God is. He's like a sovereign God. He's a God of order um, and it's amazing, you can really see his stamp on everything and his words. Um, okay, so what's really cool is he said January 4th and January 11th and these messages, when I read them to you, you're gonna see that we're so close to the rapture. Like, we're gonna see our King Jesus soon. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay, so the first um, January 4th message I got, I'm not gonna read the scriptures, he gives me tons of scriptures every time, um, but if you want to just go back the previous videos there, January 4th and January 11th. Okay, so first he said, My child, listen to my words. You don't know me and I still love you. You are broken and burdened, but I am the lamb that sits by your side. You don't know my pain. I feel your hunger, but it's not me you seek for relief. I watch you every day and I know the numbers of hairs on your head. I created you, yet you deny me. Why don't you see the love I have for you? Don't you see I see every tear? I am gentle and loving and you won't be able to live your life in peace unless you are speaking to me and listening to my words. Do you hear me pouring my heart out to you? I seek you, but you never find me. Why can't you know that I love you and I'm seeking you? My heart is broken. You deny me over and over. My sheep knows my voice and they hear me calling them. Can you hear me? I love you. Please listen to my words. And he gave me tons of scriptures. Um, and then there was another message in there before the other message. <laughs> my word is true, child. I have sent out several warnings using my people, yet you don't hear my words. You are broken and weary. And if you just come to me, I can make you whole again. You are my prize. I love you. Come to me, lay down and rest. I am your creator. You are my faithful servant. Come to me. You are my prize. I love you. Come to me. Lay down and rest. I am your creator. You are my faithful servant. Come to me. This is my last warning. You will hear the trumpet soon. Look at the stars and the sun and the moon. I am coming. 
Lay down your life, for I am the bread of life. My people hear my voice. They know it's me. They know my spirit. They are patient and kind, and they love you because I love you. They don't mock people or twist my words. They love me. They know I died on the cross for them. They don't doubt me. They know me, and they know my voice. It is finished. Then you go up. Harpazo, signaling the end, but only the beginning. Look up, look up. Look up, you will see me in the clouds. I am shaking the heavens, the earth will shatter, and I am not done. Do you hear me? Listen to my words. I created the moon, the stars, the heaven, the earth, and I created you. I am the Lord, and I have spoken. Rest, my child, I am almost near. I hear your prayers. They are no longer covered in sin. You are my broken child, and I am the bread of life. Okay, and then another one. <laughs> Thank you for being obedient, my child. Thank you for worshiping me. Don't deny me. Be a faithful servant and I will pour my spirit out in your heart and you will always know when I'm speaking to you. I am the lamb, the Messiah, the broken one reborn and made new. Just like you when you come to me. The thunder is coming. I am shouting, but I am patient and I love you. I don't want to bring my wrath, but the evil one, the cabal, the false teachers that are telling my people that the evil is leaving are lying to you. Don't be deceived. This world has created by me. This world was created by me. I made Adam from the dirt. I made Eve from his rib. Man made sin, the serpent deceived, and now I have to make the world new. There will be persecution, but not the chosen ones, not the ones who lay down their life. They're my children. I am the Alpha and the Omega, and I have spoken. Okay, and then um, I hear your prayers, children. Many of you have woke up from spiritual darkness, but still so many are still deceived. The spirit is truth. It convicts you. I know your burdens come to me. I will give you rest. My sheep hear my voice. Are you my sheep? I love you, my children, my child. Why do you deny me? I have never left you. Man made sin, but I made man. I will put a new spirit in you and give you a new heart. I would leave all 99 just to find that one. Your earthly idols will not renew your spirit. Only I can. Destruction is coming. My judgment is coming. Evil has poisoned the minds of my children. My wrath is not for my children who have been born again in a new spirit. I am shaking the heavens. I am shaking the earth. Why do you hold on to your earthly possessions? I have given you everything you need. Please wake up. I'm trying to save you from the pit. I'm trying to save you from outer darkness. Locusts will swarm and cause famine. Yellowstone will erupt. You will scream in terror. Can you hear my words? Child, I'm shaking the heavens and pouring out my wrath. Bow down to your Lord and bow down to no other gods. I love you, but I'm a jealous God. You were warned time is almost up. I'm your protector. I'm your comforter. You receive salvation through me. I'm your Lord God, and I have spoken... And then more scriptures and more scriptures. Okay, and this is the other one. Destruction is coming. I am the Jehovah. I am the Messiah. Will you walk with me? I am the Messiah who laid down my life for you. Destruction, destruction is coming. Yes, I have come to judge. I am the chosen one and I'm speaking through him to relay his message. My wrath is coming. Time is almost up. Do you hear my words, child? I laid down my life for you. Have you laid down your life for me? Do you walk in the spirit or do you just rely on the book I gave? Gave you. Do you know that book was written by man? I breathed fire through it. I made it come to life. My words are true. I am your Messiah and your Prince of Peace. California needs to wake up. Philadelphia needs to wake up. New York needs to wake up. Texas needs to wake up. Do you hear the earth shaking? It's coming from me. My words are true. My will will be done. Wake up, get down on your knees and pray and worship me. I'm your father. Do you think I want destruction to come upon you? Please wake up. Please wake up. I love you. I am the Lord and I have spoken. Hollywood, are you ready? Destruction will come upon you like a thief in the night and then I'm not done. My people, why can't you hear my words? I'm pouring my spirit out on my people and they are speaking truth from me and relaying my words. Please listen to me. I am the truth, the way, the life, and no one comes to the Father except through me. Please listen to me. I will shake the earth and the heavens will come down. Did you know I breathe life in your lungs? I am your creator. I am your friend. I am your father. 
I am the Lord God and I have spoken. My chosen ones walk in the spirit and they hear my voice. Voice, They hear me calling them. They are my sheep. Do you hear me speaking through my prophets? They are trying to warn you. I am coming and you will all see the heavens open up and see my face in the clouds. I love you, my child. Repent and lay down your life for me. I am coming. I love you. And then more scripture and another little message. I am the Prince of Peace. Love you. Please hear my words, child. You aren't listening to me. I need you to listen. Time is running out. I will shake the heavens and earth, and then I won't be done. Bow down to me now. Worship me in the Spirit, for the Holy Spirit is your friend, and he will keep you safe, and he will guide you. I love you. I want you in my kingdom. I love you. God, he loves us so much. He says it over and over again. I am the Prince of Peace. Walk with me, child. Please walk with me. Ask me to come into your life with all of your hearts. I am your Lord God and I have spoken. Pray in the Spirit. I love you. Please wake up. It's almost too late. I am your Lord God and I love you. And then lots of scripture, lots of scripture, more scriptures. He gives me like 30 scriptures, 90 sometimes. It's crazy. Um, okay. And then, okay, I'm going to do the January 11th message. And all these are already on YouTube and on Seek Heavenly Things. Um, so you guys can check that out and, you know, for yourself. But I'll, I'll repost them. Um, okay, so this message was January 11th. And he said, Wormwood will fall and the sea will turn to blood. The water will be bitter and many will die. The angels will pour out their bowls. The end is coming. My word is true. Everything I have written shall come to pass. You will see the horses. The ones who didn't believe in me will see my words are true. The floods and the cities will pour over the walls. My hour is coming. Time is almost up. Repent, bow down, and worship me. Stop worshiping, bow, and come to me. I will forgive you. New York City will be destroyed. Buildings will crash down. Fire will spread through the city and I won't hear you. I am the one true and the only Messiah. I have not come yet, but I will come soon. Like a thief in the night for all who are not watching for me. I gave you so many signs, so many warnings. Get your boat ready. You will hear the trumpet soon. Okay, and then more scriptures, more scriptures. And that's it. Okay, so he told me to repost those two messages. Um, so that's what I'm doing now. And guys, you know, when the Lord comes over me strong, um, it's amazing. I can't explain it. And he's revealing so much to me. You know, I don't think people know the real Jesus. You know, they, um, they know the Bible and the scriptures, but they haven't gone to Jesus and they haven't asked him for his revelations. You know, he said he was going to pour his spirit out in the end. And he's giving us so many mysteries, so many reveal revelations. I mean, Daniel 12, you know, it said that there were things unsealed. He's liter um or sealed until the end. Guys, this is the end. We are in the end days, not seconds. Um, and I know some people can't see that and they think that they have to stay for the great tribulation. But if you're walking in his spirit and you truly believe in Jesus Christ in your heart, then you are one of his, you know, works can't save you. You know, Jesus Christ, he changes your heart and he does that because he loves his children and it is his will to save everyone. Um, and I know a lot of people do not understand my choices that I made yesterday or lately, not yesterday, but <laughs> lately. And, um, I'm, I follow Jesus, you know, I know God anointed me to be a prophet to the nations and I've literally been obedient from December 30th on and I've taken a lot from people, um, but I would do it again because that's how much I love our Lord. I love our Lord Jesus so much. And he's revealing so many amazing things, guys. You know, Adam and Eve, the start of the new world, the new Jerusalem. You know, the planets being aligned, um, falling in love with your soulmate. Um, you know, he has a soulmate for everybody. And, um, you know, there's no marriage in heaven. 
Um, now the New Jerusalem, I know there'll be kings and queens. Um, so I'm not sure about the marriage there, but in heaven, Jesus is our husband. And, but he has partners for everyone, Adam and Eve. He's literally revealing so many beautiful blessings and revelations. And you're not just going to get it from this book. You have to seek Jesus. You have to seek Jesus with all of your heart. You have to humble yourself. You have to put down your pride. And do not think you know more than uh, the greater, the the king of the universe. You know, you do not know more than Jesus. And I literally get everything from Jesus. I worship him every day. I pray to him every day. And our God is so loving. And there's so many Christians out there that truly know his voice and truly know his love. And he's not a Pharisee. He's not. So the ones making videos and the ones, you know, saying awful things about their brother and sister, that's not of Christ. You really have to check your heart because Jesus didn't ask you to do that. Um, anyway, um, I just wanted to make this video because Jesus put on my heart to encourage his bride and the believers. And if you don't know Jesus, it's not too late. Pray, worship, ask him to come into your life. You know, ask him to forgive you for everything and he will. You know, he's such a loving God and the supernatural peace that I felt today was amazing. So much peace. I literally walked outside. I was worshiping and I held my hands up to Jesus. And I just felt this wind of supernatural peace. And, you know, people say all the time, you know, it's not Jesus. It's a deceiving spirit. Guys, I know the voice of Jesus. I'm one of his sheep. I know it very clearly. And you can't say, the, there's ones that say, oh, well, you used to hear from Jesus, but now you're not. So do you believe a sovereign God who made you a prophet is just going to let you fall like that when you worship him every day and, and, and be deceived? Like, what would be the purpose? If he's trying to wake up his children and get people out there, what would be the purpose? So anyway, my messages haven't changed. Um, it's all been from Jesus. And there's no one that can not convince me. They may not understand because man doesn't understand things. The spirit understands things, which is why Jesus told me not to consult with man, to come to him directly. And that's what I do because I love our Lord so much. And if you love Jesus, you know what his love is like. He's funny. I mean, he's a character. <laughs> he's so cool. And people don't see him that way. They see him as this tough, you know, Jesus, um, you know, you're under the law. And But you know what? Jesus came to save the world, not condemn it. So if you're out there condemning your brother and sister, you need to look at the speck in your own eye before you look at the speck in someone else's. Because that's not Jesus. The devil comes as the accuser, not Jesus. So, you know, I do everything that Jesus wants me to do. And you guys will see the truth soon enough. So just remember, believe in him. It is your faith in him. It is his grace that saves you. God bless. Ignore the people on YouTube or wherever trying to scam and you and impersonate me. And um, I will see you in the clouds soon. God bless.